Well, look, so uh, let me just start out by saying that first and foremost, I spoke to the governor yesterday uh, in length uh, several times and uh, had a discussion with him, and I appreciate his willingness to work with our caucus on a couple of the items of difference between our caucus and uh, the governor. A few of those items, however, uh, last night during caucus discussion, uh, we felt that uh, necessary, it wasn't necessary and we wanted to go ahead and move forward with, a, uh, with the overrides on the 11 items that we took up today. Because we did not take up item 28, which is the Medicaid waiver, does not mean we will not come back in the fall and take that back up. We had a discussion about it. We have the votes to actually uh, uh, continue with that if we feel it's necessary, but at this juncture we want to give the summer to let the federal government see if they are going to come to a conclusion in Congress uh, before we take action on moving forward with the freeze waiver and the request. And so uh, with that, we're going to wait on those, those items. That's why Representative Schuring at the end of our close uh, moved to hold the following items that he listed off as items that we can and uh, potentially will come back uh, to look at for overrides. On top of that, uh, we look forward to continuing to work with the governor on several of the issues that uh, uh, I know that uh, I've had his commitment to work with, and we'll look forward to that. Uh, before anyone asks, I have uh, I do not speak for the Senate. I've had conversations with the President of the Senate. Uh, they've been very good conversations. He's going to take up all these overrides and take a look at them, and that conversation will have to be had with his members and uh, let that body make their decision.